Hey y'all, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. We spent all of the time we had uh, last episode. So I think this one is a lesson, yeah. That's right, let's see what we can do here. Edelgard is too happy, let's bring that down. Nothing worth selling. I won't forget all praise is it now <coughs> I'm improving I still have much to learn all right you're getting there I still have much to learn okay Standing. You are giving me praise? You have my thank. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Go back to again. Yeah, there we go. I have understand. Um, and then both. Ferdinand, what's up, my guy? I am beginning to understand. Okay. Never underestimate a noble. So if you're gonna play a laughing animation, at least make their mouth move. <laughs> In light? I am quite pleased. Beginning to understand. And then burn it uh. Hope this is good for something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hope this is good for something. There you go. Thanks for the help. Hope this. <coughs> Having a lot of trouble breathing today for some reason. <laughs> okay. Petra wants to go flying. And, uh. Ferdinand. And we'll go with that. May I ask you something? No. One professor lectures many students, some will inevitably have trouble keeping up, while others will get too far ahead in their studies. <coughs> Wonder how this problem might be resolved. Um so perhaps there is a magical solution. Um one of these two. Is that so? Let's go with that. More professors. They won't hold still so I can attack them. They just keep running at me. I need to get better at riding so I can put some space between me and them. Okay. I mean, you're already on your way for that, so sure. Change your goals, I guess. <laughs> With the two of us, there is nothing to worry about. That's a wyvern. We had a great result. Oh, nice. I won't forget all I've learned. No sports. Okay, that's fine. Uh... There's a battle quest we can do, but first of all, let's go... Um... Metal Guard, can you do learning Lord again? 65? Okay. Armor Knight is 100. Brigade is 100. 
but uh, I don't know. I don't feel either of these classes here. <laughs> Not yet. She's a D plus and sword or higher. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's go marketplace real quick. Uh, Blacksmith, what can you do? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, let's store the rusty stuff, whatever we got. Store that. So, Marketplace. I am good on weapons. So is Little Guard. Hubert. Um, Hubert. Hubert. Uh, can you buy magic, maybe? No? I don't think you can do that. No? Okay. Whatever. What am I doing? Alright, I'm dead. Do I have anything for you to pull from here? Training lance? No? Okay, so hold on. What do I got? Broken iron sword, rusted sword, training lance, rusted axe, steel bows. Okay, I got a steel bow. Um, gauntlets, whoever uses them. Okay, so basically, I just need weapons of all kinds. Hubert here is... And you'll be fine, actually. Ferdinand is good. Lindhart is... Good. Gaspar sucks, but he's equipped enough. <laughs> Brandetta's good. She has a she has a steel sword. So let's go. Let's give her a steel sword. Petra is doing good. Let's give her a steel sword. Okay. Iron sword. So the iron axe too. <laughs> okay. trying to give a steel sword to. <laughs> oh, guard. All right. And 
So who needs vulnerabilities? Save that. And then go into a battle. <laughs> okay, let's go with this one. Thanks. Zero, huh? Alright. Thanks. I am grateful. <laughs> okay, we got Sylvain on our team right now. What is this? Oh, the hilltop. Oh, wait, 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 this is the fog map. <laughs> okay. Stay focused. Purple stuff. Purple one just gives me like rusted items or whatever. That's my cue. I'm not too. I'm not too concerned about those ones. Oh. Put me in there. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. guys might be strong. <laughs> What is his battalion? <laughs>
Yeah, I would like to use the medallion here. Shouldn't strain myself. Sheesh. All right, these guys are fast. Um, yeah. each battle, a chance to grow. Never mind, let's not do that. You can't reach anybody. Come on, burn better. There you go. Am I done yet? I won't go down so easily. I want to be all I can. Thanks so much. Everyone's going after Burn Better over here, I suppose. Okay. Um. The other guard needs to move up closer. What does Night Miller do? Guard goes against Alfred units. Okay. Yeah. 
jump. Oh, he can't level up. Okay. He can still gain supports, though, apparently. <laughs> One more use of an iron sword. Okay. As expected. We can do this. We just need to take it a bit slow. You could have at least tried. Strength will serve Lady Wow, good job. That's my cue. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. He has to announce that every time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Wow, amazing. Was that a Bernadetta quote? I couldn't. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Right makes money, right? I didn't understand a word he just said. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
We're good. Should I have held back? Edgar is kind of just like lost over here. <laughs> I will attack from behind this rock. For Lady Edelgard. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. She did it again. <laughs> Anywhere I can hide. Keep it up, Bernadetta. I can improve too, you yeah. She is kind of hurting. It's dangerous. No, oh, this heart should be nearby. <laughs> I can't get the burn of that up in that way. <laughs> Alright. 
<coughs> Deal some damage on this guy. I know Lindhar doesn't get much experience from healing people, but at the same time, that's all he can really do. <laughs> I lost the support line up here. <laughs> To attack the other guy, but whatever. Only a fool anyway. challenges me. This. Okay. MVP. And me with the glowing sword. My thank you so much. I am grateful. I have gratitude. Thanks so much. <coughs> to focus. Thank you. It won't happen again. You can be bad? Okay. I still have much to... <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know... You could fail at this. What the heck? <laughs> All right. That went way better than expected. Good job. Nailed. I'll get it next. That went good. Professor. This is in order to study sword technique. To excel as a lord. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to do anyway, so go for it. Hello. 
Hubert would like to speak with you. Hello, Professor. You seem to be in good health. Don't say that so ominously. I might think you're evil. <laughs> yes, and yourself? Of course. <laughs> Doesn't seem intimidated. What? No, not at all. It's just that I find myself a little concerned for your well-being. Guys, my coat is you defying physics. You see, Lady Edelgard has taken something of an interest in you. Yes, I would think she did. Don't be flippant. There is something you need to understand about the role I play here. One of my many duties is to determine potential advantages and potential threats to Her Highness. If you prove yourself useful to Lady Edelgard, then all will be well. If you pose a threat, I shall have to dispose of you. Yes, this is no joke. While I may be a student here, I am her servant first and foremost. Therefore, if an untimely demise is not to your liking, you would do well to demonstrate your utility with all haste. I should warn you that I am far less compromising than Lady Edelgard. Do not be at ease merely because you stand in her good graces for the time being. You can try, my man. You can try. <laughs> huh. <So laughs> I'm beginning to see why you caught her eye. My family, House Vestra, has been sworn to House Resvelg for generations. Since the dawn of the Empire, we have worked to protect the Emperor by any means necessary both in the open and in the shadows. If you incur our wrath, you will see just what I mean. Boy, threatening, re threatening me really boosts his motivation. <laughs> You're curious to see how Lindhart is doing, I guess. Well, sure. hello, Professor. You came all <laughs> to. Oh. You this might be yours, materials I guess. from your lecture I slept through. I appreciate it. Thank you. Don't miss the lectures, man. <laughs> it's not that I want to miss lectures. Exactly. The drowsiness is my arch nemesis. For some reason, I just can't seem to win against it. <sighs> Just talking about it makes me sleepy. Hmm. Your trip down, maybe. That sounds more than a little exhausting. I think I'll stay. Okay, here. fine. I must compliment. Can I rewind. You. By this point, Can I, in most I conversations, <laughs> I'm bored, senseless. But I'm enjoying this. Let me go back. I wonder why. Let me go back. Is it a... <sighs> Just talking about it makes me sleepy. <laughs> You're definitely a strange one. Maybe so. In truth, your very nature is odd. Okay. You're definitely not a commoner. But you don't seem like a noble either. You're... <coughs> something else <coughs> and yet you can wield one of the hero's relics you're like a hero in some silly legend or it's almost as if i'm the main character act some evil plot that wouldn't surprise me either or that <laughs> i'm not the bad guy here hey professor i think will you ever allow me to investigate that crest of yours it won't hurt a bit, I swear. I'm sure I could find out all sorts of things about your crest. And you. Of course, I'm not as experienced with such research as Professor Hanneman, but I do what I can. Someday, I think I might like to become a crest scholar. You never know. Hmm. Oh, don't trouble yourself. I didn't mean now. I've got a lot of other research I'm working on at the moment. I tend to start a project, get bored, and then leave it be. 
I might be ready to investigate your crest. Yeah, soon. I get that. I'd have to tidy up a bit first. On that note, <sighs> good night, Professor. <coughs> so I get Linhart, I do. I kind of have the same problem. I just there's like you want to focus, but you can't. You're just too sleepy all the time. I think it might be. Oh, he said he starts a project and then gets bored with it. So he might be a case of just having too much to do and no motivation to do any of it. <laughs> because yeah, and because you have too much to do. You're just kind of like overwhelmed with it all. You won't, you won't feel the want to complete any of it because there's there's too much to handle. You're on his birthday today. Um, sure, let's try a tea party. <coughs> uh, Thanks for inviting me. Mmm, that looks delicious. I think this might be my favorite tea. Thanks. I'll be honest, I forgot who Leoni was for this is really that first. Nice. <laughs> Not trying the tea party again would be helpful. Um, talk. Wow. So. Her face looks a little bit unsettling. <laughs> she looks like blank stare, kind of. Okay, I didn't like that much, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Don't throw away anything that's still usable, okay? I'll take whatever you don't need. All right. Wow. Observe, I guess. Oh. Ah, I see. I can just look at her. What are you staring at me for? I've been doing all my training. Okay, I can scroll down and up and whatever. Okay. That's interesting. Captain Gerald made this necklace for me a long time ago. It's a reminder of where I came from. Oh, so you can focus on different aspects of her. This okay. This is really nice. I don't mind, I'm just yeah. looking at what you. What are you staring at me for? <laughs> hmm? Captain Gerald made this necklace for me a long time ago. What are you staring at me for? Okay. I'm not having any impact here. <laughs> Thanks for the tea. We'll go with that. <laughs> we had a great result. Oh, they're still doing that. Okay. I'm getting it. I am closing in on expertise. Well done. You have my thanks. Cool. Everybody has a support. <laughs> um, Hubert? Yes? Yes. I just, um, I wanted to thank you for the other day. You know, when I fainted. Thank you for carrying me back to my room. That was nothing. It saved me after <laughs> Leaving you there would have just caused even more trouble. I guess that's true. Well, thanks. There, I said it, and now I'm going. Is this why you've been circling me like a vulture for the last several hours? <laughs> uh, vultures a bit. Well, yes. Yet you would have fled if I'd approached. It seems you will avoid me at almost any cost. Um, well, that's... You don't need to say it. I know. I'm frightening. <laughs> I'm told so often. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't laugh like that. Apologies. 
I will be mindful not to laugh in your presence from now on. <laughs> the grin of death itself! It's terrifying! You think so? Oh no, now you're angry too! Hardly. I'm sorry to have frightened you. No, you're not! It's a trick! You're lulling me into a false sense of security! I can't stand it! <laughs> She's a lost cause. Okay. Petra, industrious as ever, I see. Hello, Hubert. Yes, I am trying to be industrious. Hmm. I must be working hard to improve my position. Right now, it is not a good one. Even accounting for that, your efforts are impressive. I wish a little of you would rub off on certain people here. One troublesome slouch in particular. Rub? I will not be rubbing on you. <laughs> not literally. I never would have imagined you would adjust so well to life in Fodlan. When I first met you, you couldn't understand a single word of the language. You had the look of a cornered animal. So much so, I thought you'd grown up in the wild. I had more youth then, and the experience was uh, terrifying. My grandfather ordered me to go to Fodlin with suddenness. I was stolen to a strange land filled with strange people. The treatment I was receiving was like... like I was a strange beast. It is unfortunate, but while you were called our guest, you were actually a hostage. You were meant to be insurance that Brigid would not restore its alliance with Dagda and attack us. The Empire required leverage. And after all, you are the princess of Brigid. It gave me sadness to leave my home. But I am not unhappy that I came to the Empire. I have learned much understanding from the outside world. My experience has made me become who I am. And meeting you and Lady Edelgard has had great value for me. I admire your spirit in the face of adversity. You set a strong example to follow. <laughs> and there is much more adversity to come. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this place. It's so beautiful, I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. <laughs> Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. Unacceptable. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from They're a... They're not in the actual location, it's just a backdrop. Hmm. Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. They aren't actually the in the courtyard. The it's just lies drawn before you. Background. Always giving it your all. Wouldn't you? it have been easier to just put them in the yes, courtyard? <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking, next to you I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. <laughs> You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Indeed. I went for a ride earlier today. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must get some sleep. Being the infant that I am. Okay. <laughs> Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among you. <laughs> Tell me about it sometime when I'm noble not walking away. Yeah. Seems a bit much. <laughs> Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! <laughs> Alright, that was a good line, dude. Good job. <laughs> <sighs> I do believe a 
nap is in order. Ah, oh, this is lovely. <sighs> Just feel that breeze. Dorothea, whatever are you doing here? I was thinking of relaxing here, but it looks as if someone else is lounging in my spot already. Taking a nap in public like this? Really, Lynn. <coughs> the nobles look down on such behavior. You do know I am of noble birth. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just teasing. You never do act very noble, though. Why is that? Each person must follow their own way. This is how I prefer to live. Even if some of the more pretentious nobles like to poke fun at my ways. Doesn't that bother you? I mean, really? It doesn't hurt your pride or anything? What use is pride? It doesn't feed nor clothe you. It offers no warmth on a cold night. <laughs> First time I've heard a noble say something like that. Well, most Makes nobles sense. are... Oh, what is the polite way to say it? Fools. <coughs> they are fools. As for myself... My father is the Minister of Domestic Affairs, and he has pride enough for the both of us. For example, did you know he and the Minister of Military Affairs cannot get along, although they value each other greatly? His pride gets in the way, so he can't make amends. That is why there is discord between civil ministers and military officers in the Empire. <laughs> and so pride serves no good purpose in politics, either. So tell me, what use is it? I wonder if bad blood between civil and military leaders is somewhat unavoidable. The Minister of Domestic Affairs is in charge of all civil officials, so if they just give in easily, their subordinates would lose respect, right? I get the feeling that if your pride isn't equal to the responsibility you bear, then you aren't fit to lead. Also, I happen to think pride can be quite charming. And how necessary is charm? It just gets in the way of living your life. <laughs> If you lack charm, nobody will give you a second glance. Right, which means more time for nap. <laughs> Lynn, you can't really believe what you're saying, can you? Okay. <laughs> um... Let's explore for a bit. A stone? Yet yeah, that is that. Mm. Never mind, I don't think anybody has anything important to say here. <laughs> Two of your students from Earth, but it was some people that are considered having trouble, right? Things we are you. Okay, you don't have you have a, you don't have anything to offer. <laughs> but I think one of them would hey be there. Bernadetta. That makes total sense. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, and then I need to give another piece of tea to someone over here. Uh, Were you hello. using magic? I've heard you weren't, but. I'll gladly take this. I appreciate your effort. There you go. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> a teacher, a mercy. I'm sorry, but I'm so I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so 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 Actually, the pillow might be Linhart. Were you using that? Oh, thank yep, you. Yep, there we go. Try the tea again. Okay, it didn't go too well last time. Professor, you cannot. Okay, fine. Be that way. <laughs> Maybe Dorothy, I would like to go. <laughs> so, a teacher. Thank you so much. really weird. I thought I was supposed to commend her on her singing because she's apparently a, a singer, mm -hmm. but the other one didn't seem to do that. So, okay. But let's see if I can get some Falcon Tea. Falcon, 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 Falcon. Let's see if I can get Falcon Punch. <laughs> Gerald was all for if there's a problem, I want to help any way I can. Okay, I doubt there's anything I can. Hey, I know I'm in a <laughs> oh my, no, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. Up. <laughs> Let's see what this does. It does a thing. You can just make it keep doing that, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Assassination attempt speaking up, <laughs> apparently. Managing the sword of the creator. No problems? I hope you're not used to it. Take it outside the monastery then. 
Okay, fine. I'll increase my fly. Practice you. I'm trusting you. You must, however. You will most. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's make it that. Okay, random, random choice. Let's go. Huh. Well, it'll all work out somehow. Maybe. <coughs> if you just follow the recipe, most things will come out fine. I think. I see, I see. Alright. It went well enough. Dude's birthday. Like thanks. There you go. Okay. Next battle is a story event. So without the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you around. <laughs>